Mr. Reese. I uh, took the liberty of bringing these to you myself, sir. All right, set them down there, will you? you crack one open for me. Yes, sir. Mr. Reese, I understand you're going back down the trail to Mexico, is it? If the good Lord spares me. If I ever get another drink. <laughs> uh, Mr. Reese. Right up to the brim, boy. That's what a cup's for. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Reese. I'm a farmer. Well, you had me fooled. No, what I, what I, what I mean is uh, I was raised on a farm, and I, uh, I know a lot about animals. And uh, I'd always been interested in getting in the cattle business. That's why I came to Chicago. Mr. Reese, I'd like to go to work for you, sir. The cockroach. Well, what makes you think you'd like to go trail herding? Well, uh, all my life I'd been dreaming about going into the cattle business, getting out on the trail, and I, I hate Chicago. I'd like to live in the open. You know what I mean. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. You mean lying out there under the stars, listening to the boys singing around the campfire. And your faithful old horse standing there grazing at the grass by your side. You do much riding? Me? Well, I, I, I bet I could ride all day and all night. Oh, then, fact. You know, I bet you like horses. Yes, sir, I sure do. Uh, what's wrong? Well, you're an idiot. You're a dreamy idiot, and that's the worst kind. Do you know what the trail is really like? Dust storms all day, cloud bursts all night. A man's got to be a fool to want that kind of life. And all that hogwash about horses, the loyalty of the horse, the intelligence of the horse, the intelligence. Do you know a horse has a brain that's just about the size of a walnut? They're mean, they're treacherous, and they're stupid. There isn't a horse born that had enough sense to move away from a hot fire. No sensible man loves a horse. He tolerates the filthy animal because riding is better than walking. And pour me a little more whiskey there, will you? In spite of the fact he's got a brain no bigger than a Mexican bean, there's no horse ever. <laughs> Another thing, did you ever taste horse? No. no it hasn't got a gamey flavor, it hasn't got a beef flavor, it just tastes like horse. As for cattle, those miserable slab-sided flea bags. Uh, why don't you pour yourself a drink, boy? No, sir, I don't... I, no matter what you say to me, I want that job. You're wasting your time. You better try another outfit. I have tried. Nobody wants to take a tenderfoot on the trail. It's too much responsibility. It wouldn't be your responsibility. When I'm trailing a herd, everything is my responsibility. There's a dress shirt hanging up over there. Would you mind putting the studs in it for me? I don't want to be late for the opera. I thought I saw a spider up there. 